Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we're going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is prefix match with other strings and it is a medium level problem. So this particular problem says that given an array of strings and uh, we have been given another string. So we have been given an array of strings and a separate string. And we have to tell how many strings are there in the array whose prefix of the first k characters, prefix of length k, is exactly matching with the prefix of length k of the given string which is given separately, right? So we have been given this array, we have been given this string, we have been given a value of k and we have to tell the number of strings whose prefix of length k is matching with the prefix of length k of this particular string. Now before having a look at the example, I think the example is not very difficult but uh, if you look at the constraints, so they say that uh, the uh, space complexity should be n into l. So like looking at this, I'm assuming, just assuming, this is my assumption that they wanted us to solve this question with try. Now uh, the question is framed such that it is absolutely not necessary to solve it with try, right? And even if you do solve it with try, there is no actual benefit of uh, solving it, right? So we're just, we're just going to like uh, have a look at a very simple method with which we can solve this particular question. And we will also discuss in what cases do we actually need to use try and uh, there is no other option and this particular method that we are going to discuss is not going to work under that circumstance. So let us take this particular example and uh, let us also have a look what are the constraints. So n is 1000, all of the strings are of 1000 length and k is also up to 1000. So everything is up to 1000. So let us have a look at the simple test case. So starting off with this particular uh, strings. So we have these strings with us, right? And this is our final string that we have been given separately. So our value of k is 3. Now we have to take a prefix of length 3 which is abb, right? So basically, uh, we have to find the number of strings in the given array, in this particular array, which starts with abb. So the first string starts with abb because it is abba. So this is starting with abb. The second string is abbb. So this is starting with ABB, third string is ABBC, this is starting with ABB, fourth string is ABBD, this is starting with ABB, the third, uh, the fifth string is ABAA, it is not starting with ABB and the last string is ABCA, it is also not starting with ABB. So we have four strings in a total which are starting with ABB, so our answer is going to be four, right. So this is our answer value. Now uh, let us have a look at the complexity. So it is n is 1000 and each of the strings is 1000, let's say ARR of i, this is also up to 1000 and k is also about 1000, right. So for each of these, these strings, right, each of those strings in the array n, we will have to check the first k characters, right. So if I have this particular string, I want to check the first k characters and I have to do it for all the strings, right. So I have n strings and I want to check the first k characters for each of them. So overall complexity is O of n into k, right? If I just brute force through all the strings, right? So this will be our complexity in a simple brute force manner. What I'm trying to do is I'm going through all the strings and I'm checking whether the first k characters of this string is, is equal to the given string, right? If they are equal, the first k characters are equal, then count, then one will be added to my count. Otherwise, I don't do anything. Now, this is one very simple method which you can obviously use to solve this particular problem. The total time complexity will be n into k because for all the n strings, you are checking the first k characters, right? Good enough. Now, uh, talking about try, why do we actually need to use try to solve these types of questions? So you see that uh, there was only one string. There was only one string here with respect to which we wanted to check. So let's say if you try to form a try, it can be something like this a, b, b, a. Right. So this is, uh, this is the first string. Now the second string might have, might be like, so this is, let's say, this is how it is going. So A, B, B, then we have B and we have A, B, B and we have C then we have A, B, B and then we have D. Let's say here, D. Now we have A, B, B, A, B, A, A. So we have A and then A, A, B, C, A. So this is C and then we have so for those who don't know what a tri data structure is, for now just assume that this is going to be a graph like this and from this particular graph you can see we starting from here, we can form any string, right? All the strings that are present in our array, you will see that we can form all of them from here, 
right so a b b a is possible a b b c is possible a b b d is possible a b c a is possible right everything is possible now uh, if i want to check whether a b b is uh, is a prefix of how many strings so i'll just go through this particular graph a b b i'll travel up to here and i'll count the number of strings that have these things in this case this will be four right because there are actually four strings which came here right so this is how i can find for one single string now you see that uh, for a single string it took exactly the same amount of time because i would still have to travel to construct this try i will still have to travel through all these strings right and i will still have to travel through these k characters right so what happens if there are multiple strings right so if there was only a single string here if there are multiple strings like a a b c a and then we have a b b d right and then we have something like a c d e right so whenever we have multiple strings like this our brute force method is not going to work because the complexity of n into k is going to be the same for all the strings now it is not a single string it is going to be array of strings so let's say its size is m so our total complexity will be o n into m into k right but this is where try will come to our rescue because once we have constructed once we have constructed the try right checking for each of those string will take exactly k amount of time o of k right if the if you want to check the first k characters so we can easily check for the first k characters in o of k time and the total time complexity of checking would be o of m into k right so this is how try can help us in this way and it is only important uh, if there are there is a um, like array of strings right so here it was only a single string so it doesn't matter the complexity is uh, like not very different on on a whole level you would still be facing the almost same complexity the only difference will come when there are multiple strings i need to check for all of them right so in this question it doesn't matter if you use either of the methods both of them are correct and i believe like if you even write even want to write the optimal code the first method that i explained is absolutely correct but if there are multiple strings remember when there are multiple strings like these you will have to use try there is no other way because time complexity of o of n into m into k will give tle if the value of m is also up to 1000 right so this was all about today's problem of the day now let me just show you the code so it says that uh, we have been, we have initialized the count variable with zero and we initialize our ok variable with one so basically i am just uh, saying that i am currently assuming that uh, the current string will match the first k characters right so i just traverse to the first k characters and if array of ij that means the jth character of the ith string is not equal to the jth character of the string that we that we have been given then i just set ok as false right so that means there was at least one character which did not match our expectation now i will add count to my ok so if all of of all, all of it was good ok will be still one otherwise ok will become zero right so at the end i can just return my count variable and let me just show you by submitting this problem that this is correct so i don't like uh, why every time such things happens with gfg and uh, you see this solution is correct but in this particular problem the like uh, try was absolutely not required and it is not necessary it doesn't change the complexity much and if there were an array if there was an array of strings then definitely you would have to use try so that's it for today i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments as your engagement with this particular video really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and you'll be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems so i see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet in case you are one of them then definitely consider subscribing it's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later and till the next video drops share this channel with your friends keep coding stay safe bye bye